everyone, today I am making an easy instant pot meal with beef short ribs. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients I'll be using. Beef short ribs with bone-in, carrots, celery, onion, garlic cloves, brown sugar, paprika powder, balsamic vinegar, soup stock, tomato paste, cornstarch water, and of course salt and pepper. First, let's peel and dice the onion. to chop the carrots. Since it's going in the instant pot, I like to cut these into thicker rounds about 3 quarter to an inch wide. You can place the carrots in a separate bowl, not with the onions. Let's chop the celery into bite-sized pieces. You can place these in the same bowl as the carrots if you wish. Once you're done chopping the vegetables, turn on the instant pot by setting it to saute mode. Now add a couple of tablespoons of oil and wait for the oil to get hot. While the pot is heating up, generously sprinkle the salt on the ribs. Make sure to coat all sides. Now that the Instant Pot is hot, we're ready to sear the meat. Place four pieces of the beef short ribs at a time. It's important not to overcrowd the bottom in order to get a nice caramelization on your short ribs. This is why I placed only 4 pieces at a time. When you place the short ribs in, it will stick to the bottom. Don't worry. After 2-3 to three minutes, try grabbing the meat. If it slides off like this, it's ready to turn over. Sear all the sides of the short ribs about 2-3 to three minutes per side. The first batch is done searing, so now let's transfer the beef short ribs over to a bowl. Now put the last four pieces of beef short ribs in and sear all sides about 2-3 to three minutes per side. Now that the second batch is done, you can place it in the same bowl as the first four pieces you just seared. Now let's add 1 tablespoon of oil. If there's already more than a tablespoon of oil in the pot, you can skip this step. Gently add the onion to the instant pot. Saute the onions until it becomes translucent. Add the paprika powder and brown sugar. You can also add other spices here if you like. Once the onions are completely coated with the spices, add the balsamic vinegar, about 3 tablespoons. If it drips and you add a bit more like I did here, it's okay. The vinegar is to help deglaze the bottom of the pot so that it does not burn. If you don't like the taste of balsamic vinegar, you can simply add water instead. Once the bottom of the pot has been deglazed, it's time to add the beef short ribs back in. Now add the garlic. I like to use a garlic press, but if you don't have one, simply mince the garlic with a knife instead. Now add one cup of stock. Beef stock would be better, but I only have chicken today, so this will have to do. Now add a can of tomato paste, but if you have homemade, that's even better. Oops, I almost forgot to add the veggies. Close the lid and make sure the knob is turned to sealing. Now set it to manual or meat mode on high pressure and adjust the timer to 45 minutes. When the instant pot starts beeping, it's done cooking. However, just let it naturally release for 15 minutes. If the pin doesn't drop after 15 minutes, then manually release the remaining steam by pushing the knob to vent it. Yay, it's ready. Time to take out the beef. Mmm, doesn't it smell so good? Oh, it's so tender. Carefully remove the beef short ribs and place it on a plate. Alright, time to make the gravy. 
combine one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water in a small bowl or saucer. Then add it to the liquid in the instant pot. I like to use an immersion blender to help thicken the liquid. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can pour it into a standing blender. Taste and season with more salt and pepper if needed. This sure makes a lot of gravy, but you know what? I like sauce and I use it on everything. Now you're ready to plate it and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments if you try out this recipe.